Hi everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike, and we're on day three of our story, the Graveyard Book, which is about Nobody Owens, a boy who lives in a graveyard. He got there because he used to live nearby, but his family was killed by an evil man, and he escaped into the graveyard. Yes, he was very lucky to do that, and he was even luckier to find some interesting new friends, almost family, in this graveyard. I say interesting. Because most of the people in the graveyard are ghosts,、mm. they're just the spirits of dead people. But they take him in, they adopt him as their own, as their own child, family member, friend, things like that. They give him a new name, Nobody Owens or Bod. They shorten Nobody down to Bod. And like any family, they teach Bod how to hide from the living. Talk to the dead and more. Well, most families don't do that. Not specifically. But they'll teach you how to do things in life. Yeah. Now, Bod also finds some other special people in the、uh, graveyard. Not only kind of a, a parent, but also some friends. Yeah. There's Silas, who's neither living nor dead, but、mm-hmm. can take care of Bod by making contact with the outside world, which、mm. he can do. He takes care of practical matters. Bod later explores the graveyard when he's five. After a few years of living there,、mm-hmm. he meets Scarlet, a living girl. Who are they're kind of playful. They、mm-hmm. she teaches him about kids and being playful. They explore the graveyard and just about avoid the slayer, this evil presence in a tomb. Yeah, they almost get in some trouble as kids do, but luckily they didn't. But Scarlet has to move away, and then Bod later on meets another new friend, Liza. Now Liza is a dead woman, another sort of spirit or ghost who lives near or just outside the graveyard. Why? Well, she was buried in a grave without a headstone, what、mm. we would call an unmarked grave. Like no one wanted to remember that this person had lived because she was killed when other people thought she was a witch. Mm-hmm. Which is, of course, terrible thing to happen to her. But Liza is a very nice person, really.、Yep. She becomes friends with Bod, and he likes her so much and appreciates her. He decides to make her that headstone that she never actually got. That was a very、yeah. kind thing for him to do. So, what will happen next in the story? Let's read on and find out. Reading. The Graveyard Book. When Bod is around fourteen years old, Scarlet moves back. At the same time, the wicked man who killed Bod's family is ordered to finish the job, because Bod still has the freedom of the graveyard. He is too hard for the murderer to find. The murderer and his crew try to use Scarlet to get to Bod. Bod must draw on all of his knowledge from growing up with ghosts to save himself and his friend. Sadly, a happy ending is not waiting for Bod. Though he traps or defeats their enemies with his own strength and skills, Scarlet finds him and her experience in the graveyard too scary. To give her some peace, Silas takes away her memories. Of the kidnapping and fight, this means that she forgets Bod too. As for Bod, he gradually loses the freedom of the graveyard. He takes this as a chance to explore the outside world. He looks for truth in the tales that were told to him by his ghost family. So we see now that when Bod is around fourteen years old, Scarlet moves back. Okay,、oh. so we've gone from childhood、mm-hmm. to now they're kind of young adults, teenagers. Which、yeah. Means a little bit more feelings get involved、oh. sometimes, you know,、okay. as, you, as you might expect. But、right. that's not the only thing that happens when he's around fourteen. That's right. At the same time, the wicked man who killed Bod's family—remember him from day one. Is ordered to finish the job. Oh my gosh! So this guy, this killer, this murderer who killed Bob's Bod's family, mother, father, everyone. Apparently, they find out that Bod is still alive.、Mm. Remember that boy from the family who got away? He's alive. We know where he is. Say the the terrible bosses of the killer or whoever.、Mm-hmm. You got to go back and finish the job. Basically, go back and. Do what we told you to do. Kill the whole family, including that young boy who now is not such a young boy. So this is all happening at the same time. 
This is a phrase that we often use when telling stories to kind of show you that two kinds of action, two different things are going on at the same time. Basically, if you looked at the clock and could be in two places at once, you would find both of these things, these actions, these events happening. At the same time in the story,、mm, or around the same around time, the same you time. know, days and months, and it could be, or、mm. it could be at exactly the same time, right? But certainly not years apart. Exactly. Now, this man, of course, is a wicked man.、Ooh. Let's read about what that means. So, wicked is just a synonym. It's another word that means evil, bad, nasty. Somebody who does things for bad reasons and doesn't really care about it. We talk about the wicked queen in the Snow White story, the wicked witches in the Wizard of Oz. Bad characters like that. We could also say it was wicked of you to lie to your best friend. That was a terrible thing. How could you do that? So now we're getting to some really dramatic action.、Mm. We've got Bod in the graveyard, and we've got someone trying to kill him, and a new girlfriend, maybe. Maybe so much is going on because Bod still has the freedom of the graveyard. He is too hard for the murderer to find. Remember、mm. when Bod first came to the graveyard as a little kid? He was given the freedom of the graveyard. This kind of gave him some superpowers,、yep. like the ghosts. He could hide from people. He could talk to the dead.、Uh, and when this murderer, who's just a normal person, comes back, Bod uses these powers to disappear, to hide, to confuse the murderer into thinking he's somewhere when he's really over here. This is all so that he can avoid the murderer, and and so he won't get caught and killed. By this killer, this murderer, and that's what a, per- a murderer is. It's a person who kills others on purpose, illegally.、Mm. Uh, maybe if it's a soldier in a war, we might not call that person a murderer. If you're fighting and someone's trying to kill you and you end up killing them, that might not be. But this is the kind of crime that we put people in jail for the rest of their life for. I killed that guy just because I didn't like him, or I killed that guy just because someone paid me to do it. In that case, you're definitely a murderer. Yep, but this murderer can't find Bod. So we see the murderer and his crew. Oh my God, he's got a crew. He's got people. <sighs> we'll read about that in a sec. The murderer and his crew try to use Scarlet <gasps> to get to Bod.、Oh, so they're bad people. Yeah, they like grab her. They you know tell us where your boyfriend is or、oh. this guy or they shout out, "We've got your girl. You come out and face us." That、oh, kind of thing. These guys are so low. Yeah, and it's a crew. It's not just one man who's trying to kill him. There's a whole group. That's what a Crew is here. We can use it to talk about the a whole group of people doing a particular action, like the crew of a ship or the、okay. crew of an airplane. Okay, you know, a work crew doing a construction project, sure, film crew. Yeah, but we could also use crew to mean a group of criminals, basically、mm. a criminal crew. They're trying to rob a bank. We're going to put together a crew. We're going to kill this person. We've got a crew of people to do the bad stuff. For example, the crew of bank robbers were in and out of the bank with all the money in less than three minutes. Wow! And often, when we talk about a crew of people doing crime, we might also, of course, use that word "gang"—a、mm. gang of murderers or robbers or something like that. All right, back to the article. Bod must draw on all of his knowledge from growing up with ghosts to save himself. And his friend. It's time for Bob to Bod to become the hero、mm-hmm. or die trying because he knows this is great danger. It's come right to his home. He can't run away. He's got to fight these people. But he's learned a lot growing up in that graveyard. He's learned a lot from the ghosts and Silas and other people. And using that knowledge, using what he's learned, he can use that or draw on that. In order to do things, when we draw on something, yeah, we're basically taking a resource, taking something we have, and we're using it in order to achieve a goal, to do something. You draw on your knowledge to answer the questions on the test, or you might draw on your experiences to show a visitor around your city. You know what's interesting to do, and you go, oh, I have a few ideas. I did this. I've tried that. I've gone there. I'm using that knowledge, that wisdom, that experience. In order to reach a goal or to do something, I'm trying to do. Okay. Well, does he succeed? Yes and no.、Huh? Yeah. Neil Gaiman 
doesn't mind、oh, some. Oh, Neil. He he goes for a sort of balanced ending. <sighs> some good, some bad. Okay. It's part of the style. Sadly, we read a happy ending is not waiting for Bod. Not waiting for Bod. Yeah, it's not going to be a super happy. Every the bad guys are defeated. The hero gets the girl. It's not that kind of story because. That's not real life. That's、And、true. Neil Gaiman does like to use real life as well as this crazy stuff. Interesting. Yeah, life doesn't always work out the way it does in Hollywood movies. Though he traps or defeats their enemies with his own strength and skills, yay, that's good.、Mm-hmm. Scarlet finds him and her experience in the graveyard. Too scary, so she runs away. This is all too much for her. She's like, "Thanks for saving my life, but I can't do this. I want to go back to the mall and my friends and have a normal life. This is not what I want to do. This is not the life I want to lead." So she runs away. But he did manage to save everyone. I guess he did manage to you know, kill the bad guys or have them get caught by the police、yep. or something like that. He trapped some of them at least. When you trap something, you grab it and you hold on to it, probably in kind of a surprising type of way.、Mm-hmm. You might think of trapping a mouse or trapping a fly in your hand if you're fast enough to grab it. Hunters, of course, might use special equipment to trap animals, and you can even think of fishermen using nets. They、mm. throw out the net and then they wrap the net around a bunch of fish. Those fish are caught. Inside the net, they can't get out. They are trapped. And actually, many of those things, especially the machines, like something for a mouse or something you might build in the woods to catch a rabbit, we call those traps. Traps are designed to trap an animal. For example, the spider trapped the fly in its web.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, they get trapped when they step on the sticky web, and they can't get off. So some of the murderer and his crew get trapped,、mm-hmm. and Bod defeats some of the others.、Mm. To defeat someone is to beat them or overcome them somehow in a contest or a fight. You know, it could be as simple as just okay, bang, knock that guy down, he's out of it. You've defeated Maybe, him. Yeah, drop something on his head. Maybe he even trapped one of them in the room with the slayer. Like,、Ooh. ah, tricked him into going in there.、Mm-hmm. He'll never get out. That kind of thing. But he does this using his skills. And And his strength. All right. So yes, this word strength. Well, do you guys know the adjective strong? If you have big muscles, you're strong. If you can lift lots of heavy weight, you are very strong. Well, strong is the adjective. Strength is the noun. If you want to build your strength, in other words, if you want to become strong, go to the gym and lift lots of weights, and your muscles will get bigger. And then you will have strength. We can actually talk about strength in different ways. We might use adjectives like physical. Physical strength is with your body, or using a powerful engine to to pull heavy things. But you can also have mental strength if you're strong in your mind, or spiritual strength if your spirit and your soul, if you never quit, never give up. We might say you have a lot of mental or spiritual strength. You're strong. In some kind of way, you have power. In some kind of way, for example, I don't think the two of us have the strength to carry your piano up these stairs. Oh, we're definitely talking about physical strength in this case. So Bond、mm. does kind of win. He defeats the murderer. He、mm-hmm. defeats the crew. But the whole experience for Scarlet was very scary.、Mm. Scary means frightening. It's the sort of thing that makes you feel afraid. You don't want to go near it. You have bad dreams thinking about it. It's just really disturbing. For example, we could say Helia doesn't mind reading scary stories before bedtime. She's very brave.、Ah. Some people don't like scary movies or scary stories, and no one really likes this kind of scary experience.、Mm, yeah, absolutely. Story is one thing; real life very different. Anyways, so、uh, this girl Scarlett, she wants to get away. She might still like Bod, but she doesn't really want to live in this graveyard with all these dangers around her. So to give her some peace, Silas takes away her memories. Of the kidnapping and the fight. Oh, this is kind of like in Men in Black, where they、mm. flash that thing, and suddenly you can't remember all the terrible things that just happened to you. So Silas, remember, has some special powers, and he uses those powers to basically erase her memories, so she won't remember these scary things like the kidnapping, like the fight, and of course, you know, people being. Hurt or killed or whatever. These are scary things 
and they don't want her to have these bad memories. What is a kidnapping? A kidnapping. Well, this is a type of crime.、Um, the verb would be kidnap.、Mm-hmm. And when you take a person away from their family or their home, and it's a crime, and you're doing it because of money, because you want to hurt people, because you want to frighten people, that kind of thing, the police will catch you, and hopefully they will find that person who was kidnapped safe and return them to their home. And the kidnapper. The criminal who kidnapped the person, we would call that person a kidnapper, will go off to jail for a long time. So this is all good. Silas uses one of these supernatural powers、mm-hmm. he has to remove the memories that really hurt her, that、yeah. really kind of affect her. However,、mm-hmm. it's not it's not like a delicate operation where you can just only take that thing out.、Oh. You wipe a lot of stuff, and we see in the article this means. That she forgets Bod too. Wow! Yeah, so his, of course. His friend now won't remember him. Right. She's just a stranger to him now. Because of course she forgets the bad things, but she forgets the good things as well, including her friend. And what about Bod? What about the hero of our story? As for Bod, he gradually loses the freedom of the graveyard. Oh,、hmm. that's too bad. So he basically becomes a normal boy again at、Kinda. some point as he grows up. Yeah, notice that last sentence began with that phrase. As for Bod, so right before we were talking about Scarlet, right? What happened to her at the end of the story? What was her story? And then we turn to another character, and that's why we use that term "as for." It's basically referring us to the next thing in our list, the next thing you might want to hear about or might want to get information about. It's basically just something we would say to tie in the idea that there's this. And then there's that, and they're both important. And now it's time to switch from this over to that. For example, you might say, "Oh, for our holiday, we'll take a train to Kending. As for where we'll stay, I booked us a place in a nice hotel." So we're talking about how to get there and where we'll stay once we get there. It's all connected, but they are kind of different topics. So Bard has lost the freedom、mm, of the graveyard. He he maybe can't disappear anymore.、Yeah. He maybe can't talk to ghosts anymore.、Right. He'll kind of lose some of the secrets. But you know he's growing up. He's changing. True, These true. things are happening. You can't and, live in the graveyard forever, right? And he's lost one friend. But will he never have another friend?、Mm. Hopefully not. Bard is certainly taking this as like, okay, this is bad. But there's a positive side.、Mm-hmm. We see he takes this, the losing the freedom, as a chance to explore the outside world. That's true. He can kind of get out there and go. All right, that's my childhood, my growing up. What else is out there? Absolutely. He's never really lived the life of a young kid. So that even just you know going to school and playing with normal kids might be really fun for him. And there's other things he can do. We read he looks for truth in the tales that were told to him. By his ghost family, so he learned a lot of different things. He heard learned or heard a lot of tales or stories from his ghost family. So now he's got that information. He draws on that information as he goes out into the real world. These tales, as I mentioned, a tale is basically kind of like a story. We're giving you some facts, some things that happened. It might be in a fun way, just to entertain you. It might be more in a message kind of way to teach you something about good and bad, right and wrong, how to be a good person. But basically, a tale is kind of like a story. For example, I'm not sure I believe the tale you just told. But it was very entertaining,、huh. just like the graveyard book. Yeah. So yeah, we've we've not put in every part of the story of the graveyard book. Okay. We didn't explore the real reason why Bod's family was killed、Ooh. and why the murderer comes back. If you want to find out more about all that kind of stuff, go and read the book. Get the full story.、Hmm. Find out about these tales that were told to Bod and stuff like that. Really enjoy the rest of the writing. We're not going to give you everything in just our article version of it. But that does bring us to the end of the article. So let's now go to our final for you chat question. For you chat. Okay, so our chat question is kind of talking about some of the interesting things that Bod learned as he grew up in an interesting kind of place. Or as we say it in our question, what are some special skills you have because of how or where you grew up that you might not have learned if you'd grown up in another place in another way? 
Uh, I guess one thing that's maybe slightly different. I learned how to chop wood safely with an axe. Okay. At quite a young age, because my family had a wood fire. Ah. So, okay. So you know that's one. I think I guess that's a good one. I learned a bit about how to use a bow and arrow because I'm from Nottingham, the、oh, city、okay. of Robin Hood. Where, <laughs> well, that's just know, natural. Yeah, that's. Is that how you get your food? That's that. We have to go and hunt the deer. I, I expect stuff that. like that. Okay.、Um, <laughs> Otherwise, no. Most of my stuff is going to be fairly standard. The only thing I can think of was my father is a doctor,、mm -hmm. so just by being around、mm. a doctor, you kind of get some medical knowledge,、okay. sort of in his conversations, in him telling you stuff. Right? Maybe kind of comes through. He talks about his day at work sometimes,、mm, yeah. or tells you a little bit extra when you're sick or someone's sick. So that's about as much as I can think of. Anything、mm -hmm. from you?、Uh, well, I guess growing up Canadian, I can ice skate.、Mm -hmm. Many Canadian kids learn to ice skate right around the same time they learn to walk. Okay.、Um, so that might be a special skill. Yeah.、But、the funny thing is about special skills is it might be special to other people, but to you it's kind of normal. It's just yeah, regular.、Right? Yeah. But how about you guys? What are some special skills you have because of how or where you grew up? And I think for many people around the world, I might say. Learning how to knowing how to use chopsticks. Yeah, that's something a lot of people don't grow up knowing. So there you go. That might be a place to start. Have a chat about that. Continue to read lots of fun and interesting books, and we'll see you back here sometime very soon. Until then, be well, stay spooky, and bye bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Wicked. Greta was a wicked old woman. She wasn't afraid to lie and cheat to get what she wanted. Crew, I don't want to talk to Matt. I don't like him or the crew he hangs out with. Trap, Tina chased the rat around the apartment until she trapped it in the bathroom. Strength, to do this job, you need the strength. To lift heavy things. Scary. Justin had bad dreams after he watched a scary movie. Tale. Lucy loves to listen to her grandfather's tales of what life was like when he was young. 智慧小补帖 Murderer. Defeat. Kidnapping. The following program is by Huayong Kongzhong Mei Yu Production. Huayong Kongzhong Mei Yu Magazine, please contact all the bookshops around the world. If you have any questions, please call 02-2364-4000. 零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。